All right. Boss versus Squeak. Boss from VA. And he does, he plays all the Mario Brothers and Diddy. Uh, Melee, he was known for his dock, so let's see what he can do with uh, his pseudo dock in Project Dem. As you know, there's no regular Doc Mario, but we do have his costume, and he is there in spirit, which is his fair of judgment. Squeak, uh, we've, well, we've seen quite a bit of Squeak today. 2 0 in Gimmer. Let's see what he can do to boss. Boss, very tricky player, very fast player. Right now, Squeak having a really tough time getting around the, the, the fireball pressure by Boss. He gets the slam dunk. That's Meta Knight's first stock. Ooh, very nice anticipation by Squeak. I'm not sure why Boss was going for the down B there. That seems a little too close to the stage to do that, especially against Meta Knight. Boss looking for a grab. He knows that a grab on Meta Knight can add up quickly. Meta Knight's grabs are a little bit harder to follow up with, as you can see there. Right now, Squeak. I don't think Squeak likes Final Destination. I think I think people might start to figure that out. He's really he really likes to have some platforms for his approach. I think Smashville is probably one of his better stages. Right now, Boss with the combos. Trying to make the real. There's another dunk. And Squeak just barely lives it. Let's see what he can do. Boss went the wrong way with a dunk, and Squeak is able to make it back on stage because he's Meta Knight. His recovery is better than yours. Boss made some incorrect judgments on the down throw there, but it doesn't cost him too much. That, that, as far as Boss went off that down B, it should tell you a little bit about how powerful that move is. Ooh, and that was a good fake out by Boss. He made, faked him out like he was gonna just go the same way he went on the first stock that cost him, but he's still unable to recover regardless. And so Squeak takes the lead. Very nice play by Boss to get the crouch cancel down smash. That's an easy KO. Boss getting back to the fireball pressure game that he was using earlier. Squeak seems to be having such a hard, such a hard time with it earlier. I'm surprised he hasn't stuck more to it now. Because I don't really feel Squeak ever fully adapted to it. Right now he's just making really, really good follow-up reads. Right now, a very, very close game. It's really anyone's move. The down B could kill Mario now. Mario's dunk could probably kill Meta Knight now. Let's see what, what's going to happen next. Oh, Squeak went for it. He went for that early kill. Could not quite get the follow-up, and Boss kills him as a result. So Boss now with the lead again. Squeak playing very, very elusively. But he's unable to get in on Boss. Boss is just playing a really good keep away and Final Destination has really allowed him to do that well. He's in a good position here. Ooh, and that actually might have helped Boss recover. Nice down smash by Squeak and Mario dies off the top. Pretty good indication that there was no way he was gonna live that. So just a 52% gap for Squeak to overcome. Very manageable for a Meta Knight. Boss again back to his keep away game that was working so well. And there it is, up air, up air. And the final finish gets him with the Kobe. So Boss takes the first game. Final very good starting stage for Boss.
Game two, going to Green Hill Zone. And uh, a good start for Boss. He went Diddy. I think to curtail what Meta Knight can do to Dr. Mario on this stage because it can be very difficult to recover on the sides. And there's no, there's no like Mario wall jump. I think that's the one thing the boss is very solid. I'd never had to in the last game, but. And there's, that's what Sweek was looking for. Couldn't quite get the follow-up. He gets it down B and it nearly kills him at about 60. Again, that down B incredibly powerful. It gets more powerful the further it gets. But it's Boss able to capitalize off the banana, and Boss takes the lead here. So, and Squeak, very good anticipation of Diddy's recovery. He's going to get the first stock here. So it's an even game, three to three. And right now, Squeak is just trying to find some footing. Oh, and nearly had a gimp there, but Boss just narrowly grab the ledge and boss is looking good right now with these dares with these F tilts he's throwing them all over the place and they're all connecting now smash is in there boss with a stock lead let's see if Squeak can bring it back as fast as he did earlier misses the grab there on the jetpack that's not too much of a problem for him that's the damage that's really going to get him. Very nice F tilt to uh, to grab, and he had he had the right read there. He just reacted a little bit too late. Ooh, and Boss with the disrespect jetpack. He'll take a two stock lead here. Yeah, and he's entered into his form the final boss. The banana falls on him. He gets the follow up, double down throw. And Boss starting to put a clinic on Squeak right now. Spot dodges the F tilt and gets behind it. Squeak able to finish off Bo Boss's antic there, but he's got two stocks to go and already has 83 on his last. Oh my gosh, I thought that was going to happen. I, was, I, thought, I thought he might get spiked, but instead he dies off the side. Boss 2 0 Squeak and will advance to winner's finals. So, Squeak in winner's finals, then I guess play the winner's finals? What? Apostle? What? what? We still got a lot of